this familiarization video has been developed to help trained operators of powered access equipment understand the general safety and operating features of this machine. Whilst every effort is made to ensure the information provided is accurate and up to date, Nationwide Platforms accepts no liability for reliance on the contents of this video, which has been produced for guidance only. It is not intended to replace the manufacturer's manual. This machine is an iPath Category 1B Mobile Elevating Work Platform, or MUP for short. If you do not hold this category license, then you should consult your employer. Do not operate this machine. Operator Responsibilities Before using the machine, please ensure the machine has an up-to-date thorough examination. It is a mandatory requirement that a pre-use check is completed. This should include a full function check of all controls, including the emergency lowering controls. Please refer to the machine warning decals and operator's manual before use. Dual Power Source This machine can be operated using the diesel engine or connected to a main electrical supply that can work inside or out in any environment, both cleanly and quietly. For electric use only, connect to external power, pull out the emergency stop and turn the key switch on. Then, press the electric motor button on the ground control panel or the platform control box. For diesel use, pull out emergency stop and turn the key switch on. Then. Press the engine start button on the ground control panel or the platform control box. For use with lithium ion power, please consult the operator's manual. Drive and outrigger setup. The machine can be driven using the platform control out of its carrier. The control box should be hung around the operator's neck for correct operation. The operator should be at a suitable and safe distance from the machine, but maintaining good visibility for your route. The drive carriage footprint can be temporarily retracted for driving through narrow gaps. For normal operation, always keep the carriage extended. Depending on the terrain, the operator can select to have outriggers positioned close to the ground to nullify risk of tipping. Drive controls are located at each end of the platform control unit. Each control individually operates the left or right track and are identified by their red colour. To drive, move both controls in the desired direction. Total drive speed can be set to slow, normal or fast by pressing the function speed button repeatedly until the correct symbol is displayed. Automatic auto levelling outrigger setup is available by pressing and holding the auto outrigger down button until the status display screen signals OK. Individual operating of outriggers is available by pressing the blue manual button repeatedly until the display indicates the same number of outriggers you wish to operate. Then, use the yellow and green outrigger buttons to either lower or raise the outrigger. Use the level indicator to assist manual setup. Always use the supplied spreader pads under the outrigger plates. Ground controls Ground controls will only become available to the operator once the machine has been set up correctly on its outriggers by using the platform controls. These controls operate the boom functions only. For all ground control operation, always house the platform control box in its carrier and pull the platform emergency stop out. Rotate and hold the select switch clockwise to enable the ground control. Select the desired boom lever identified on the decal and move in the direction required. Platform controls. To operate the machine from the platform, the lower external emergency stop needs to be pulled out and the key switch in the on position. Enter the platform. Attach your harness to the designated anchor point. Pull out the emergency stop and start the engine or electric motor. You are now able to operate the desired function. Boom functions only come available when the outriggers are set up correctly. When the boom is in use, the outrigger and drive function is locked out and the boom must be fully stowed and the stowed symbol is displayed before these functions become enabled. Total boom speed can be set to slow, 
normal or fast by pressing the function speed button repeatedly until the correct symbol is displayed. Overload warning. The machine is fitted with an overload protection device that will sound an alarm and an overload icon will be displayed when the safe working load is exceeded. All of the boom movement functions will be deactivated. Remove excess weight from the platform until the overload icon goes off. For this information, refer to the safe working load decal, the operator's manual or manufacturer's data plate. Emergency lowering. In the event of engine power and electrical failure at height, it will be necessary to use the platform auxiliary controls. The emergency descent button allows the platform to be lowered only. It is activated by pressing the button and operating the required function to lower. To lower the machine from the ground, undo the three thumb screws and remove the side cover exposing the emergency lowering valve. Undo retaining butterfly bolt to release the manual pump handle. Insert handle into manual pump. Make sure the diverter valve is set to the left and start pumping up and down. Hold the red lever fully upwards and select the required boom function lever downwards to lower the platform. For further assistance regarding this procedure, please consult the operator's manual or contact Nationwide Platform's technical support. All emergency lowering plans can be viewed and downloaded from nationwideplatforms.co.uk or scan the QR code on the machine. Securing the machine. At the end of use, fully stow the outriggers, drive and park in a secure location, switch off the engine or electric motor, push in the platform and ground emergency stop buttons and finally remove the battery isolator. Lifting and point loading. For the machine unladen weight, Point loading and use of designated lifting points, please refer to the manufacturer's information plate and operator's manual. Alternatively, contact Nationwide Platforms. Thank you for watching this familiarization video. For technical support, please contact 0845 745 0000 and select option 2. Please ensure you have your machine serial number and E code to hand when calling. These can be found on the Nationwide Platform's data plate which is fitted to your machine. For iPath training, please select option 1 or book online at nationwideplatforms.co.uk forward slash training.